Hey everyone, it's John Isaiah from the Automator, and today we're going to show you how to solve a really, really annoying problem. Often that happens with Dropbox, but it can happen with other situations as well, where yeah. you get this weird error about sync. You can't delete files or sync certain files, and so Isaiah's cracked it. It was not easy to, to solve. <laughs> yeah, I knew that it had to do with permissions, because it, it usually does with file permissions, and I know how to handle those. But this one required an additional step that I was not aware of. So I can go ahead and show you. And, and this happens very often. It happens with syncing programs like Dropbox, uh, OneDrive, especially if you're syncing between two users, right? right? right. Because if it, if, you, if it is yourself, you probably will not have this issue. But in your case and I, we are syncing files and yeah. there are some files on your computer that are special, that are getting synced, that then I cannot actually access or vice versa. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what, what it looks like, what the problem is. This right. icon here on my Dropbox, you see that red thing that really annoys you? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But you know, hey, there's some sort of problem. And this is exactly what it's referring to, like it couldn't sync some files. And it is due to permission issues. When we take a look at them, you will find a few files and sometimes you will find folders. There's a little bit of a difference between how you handle both, but the process that I'm going to talk about, which is for the folders, is almost exactly the same for the file, just some things that are missing, but it's the same thing. So let's talk about, about it in terms of folders. And I went to their page of how to fix it and what I did, whatever they said, and it didn't fix it. Oh, I did because, too. Yeah, so, so the permission, they, they are right. It's a permission access. There's a specific step that we have to do that they do not mention there. And that's what was the headache all about. So let's click on go to folder. And when you do that, it takes you to the folder of the file that is having the issues. And as you can see here, this system volume information is a personal file that is created by Windows. And if you go to the properties of this guy, here we go. You will notice that if you go to security, things are not going to show up here, which is for other folders. For example, if you do that for any other folder, what's going to happen there is that if you go to security, you should see the group sort of names and you, you might, if you take a look at your own user, you should have your own permissions. When you, right, here, when you go to security, you don't see anything. You can even, not even read the file. So that's the reason why Dropbox is also having issues. If the user is having issues, the programs are going to have more issues. So, yeah. yeah. So now if we go to advanced, this is what they tell you to do, you know, just to get the read permissions and so on. But don't do that right away. You should first change the ownership because if you don't do, if you are not the owner of the file, you're not going to even add, be able to add anything. So, right. So let's start with that. Let's start. And your account is Joe, I think. So there it is. As soon as I changed the ownership, it automatically gave me permissions to read. But notice that only the system can access it. Nobody else. That's the reason nobody can access the file. So what we're going to do is, um, after I change the ownership, replace the owner in subcontinuous files and objects. Because if it is a folder, it might contain other files or folders inside. If you don't do this, you're going to still have issues. So that's part of the things that on the files, you're not going to have this checkbox because files don't have subcontainers, right? That's the first thing. Second of all, you would click here on ena enable inheritance. And you will notice that when you do that and replace all the child objects permissions, that's another thing that doesn't show up on the files. But when I do this, and hit apply, it will say, hey, you do not have permission. Do you want to uh, go ahead and just say yes to that? You you replace explicitly defined permission. Yes, I, that's what I'm actually doing. Say, okay, you just take an ownership. Perfect. Now you will notice that the system, the permission entries, everybody is shown correctly. Everybody can at least read the file. So now Dropbox will not have issues with that file. That's what fixes the issue. If you are unsure if this worked, you can check here on the effective access. You select a user, in this case yourself, or probably Dropbox. You might want to use the Dropbox user there. And when you click on view effective access, it should be green. And this here is just showing you 
as if the user tried to read the file. So yes, it would show you all green. That means that everything was fine. I hit OK. I hit OK here. And this time, if I go ahead and do the same thing, system volume information, right click, and I go down here. Now I should see my security things. And notice that now, instead of a red X, now right. it has a green. So now Dropbox can access it. I usually go ahead and delete the file or you do something else. Yeah. But um, no, that's, that's yeah. how you can go ahead and fix it. With files, it's the same process. It's just that you don't have the checkboxes <laughs> for doing the children. Cool. All right. So if you learned something here, please like the video. It really helps us out, get more views. Uh, and we really appreciate it. Subscribe. We're the largest channel out there yeah, on auto hotkey and automation. So thank you so much. Have a great day.